watching HCTV 22 City News, your source for news and information on issues, people, arts and entertainment, and sports in the city of Hawthorne. In this edition of City News, we take a look at the world's most advanced fighter jet, and a woman who has dedicated many years of service to the community is honored. Also, most of us take clean drinking water for granted, but not these Hawthorne students. These stories and much more coming up on City News. Hello and welcome to City News. I'm Michelle Mizell Archer. Raytheon, an aerospace company in El Segundo, is one of 300 California suppliers for the Lockheed Martin manufactured F-22 Raptor. So far, 120 of these planes have been delivered to the U.S. Air Force. Reporter Kate Larson was recently at Raytheon to learn more about America's newest fighter aircraft. The F-22 Raptor is the world's most advanced fighter jet. I've flown over 65 different aircraft. I have over 5,000 hours in all kinds of airplanes. And to me, the ultimate airplane is the F-22. It's like bringing a, bringing a gun to a knife fight. This flight simulator is an exact replica of the F-22 cockpit. It's a revolutionary step, not an evolutionary step. It is so far ahead of anything else. Uh, there's, there's nothing else that can touch it at this point. Which is literally true because of the plane's stealth capabilities. You have very, very small radar signature, about the size of a small bird. It's designed to go into places with very sophisticated surface-to-air missile systems. I'm getting a five-minute crash course, but an Air Force fighter pilot will train for three to seven months on an F-22. The integrated avionics make it so simple and so intuitive, especially for today's generation growing up with video games, that it's very, very simple for them to be very, very effective with the aircraft. In a test exercise, the F-22 dominated the battle space, had over an 80 to 1 kill ratio, and made older planes that were on its side much more effective. Ghost 3-8 is They started using the airplane to relay information back to the old airplanes and say, no, no, go after these guys, or don't worry about those guys, go after the guys to the south. So it made everybody more effective. According to Lockheed Martin representatives, the F-22 has never been used in actual combat. But if need be, the Raptors are ready for deployment. For HCTV, I'm Kate Larson. The F-22 Raptor is a fighter and a bomber. The price tag on one of these planes? About $140 million. After 35 years of service as president of the President's Council, beloved humanitarian Cora Travers is moving on. Alex Batres has more. Many came out to honor a woman who has dedicated more than 30 years of selfless service to the city. It doesn't cease to amaze me how wonderful uh, this lady has been to the city of Hawthorne. Cora Travers is retiring from the President's Council, leaving a legacy that has touched many lives. Anything that the community needed, they would come to President's Council and Cora would say, sure, we can have a dinner, we'll raise money, we'll make that happen. Putting together the canine dinner and the amount of monies that she's raised over the years, um, like I stated earlier, just in the last five years, um, it's been an average of about $10,000 a year. Travers also spearheaded the Holiday Assistance Program, which enabled many families to receive food and toys during the holidays. Through those programs of identifying families in need, more than 2,500 families have received some sort of assistance. She moved to Hawthorne in 1954 and struggled through hard times. A helping hand from a friend sparked a passion Travers never expected. I just had no idea how, how heartwarming that was for me to be offered for groceries. And I've helped people ever since. Listening to others honor her years of service was difficult for Travers because she says she never helped others for recognition. I did what I wanted to do, not to get credit for anything I did, and it's just really hard for me to listen to accolades because that isn't what I would live for. One of the tributes Travers received brought her to tears. Cora Travers is hereby declared Honorary President for Life of the Hawthorne President's Council, attest to this 14th day of March 2008. 
and Travers isn't done just yet. Thank you so much for being here. Thank everybody for being here, giving me enough strength to continue in my life. And I am going to keep going. She is determined to keep going by working with the Stroke Survivors and Caregivers Program, further proving her love and commitment for the city. For HCTV, I'm Alex Padres. The President's Council plans to award Cora Travers scholarships to Hawthorne students. The International Observance of World Water Day on March 22nd grew out of a United Nations Conference on Environment and Development that was held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992. Since then, activities have been established worldwide to focus public attention on critical water issues of our time. Recently, some Hawthorne students participated in one of these events. HCTV reporter Lindsay Case has more. Hawthorne students traveled to the Santa Monica Pier to take part in World Water Day. I found out about the event through our school internet club. The Walk for Water was sponsored by Starbucks and Ethos. People had the chance to haul buckets of water to try and understand what women and children in other countries experienced every day. I feel good knowing that it's going to go to a good cause, knowing that people you know, all around the world can, you know, they don't have to walk so many miles just to get a fresh, a fresh you know, canteen of water. World Water Day is raising awareness on a global and local level. This walk symbolizes the average distance that people in third world countries will travel just to get clean water. Students walk the 2.5 miles carrying buckets with their hands and on their heads. Their ultimate goal is to raise enough money for a water well. So each water well costs a thousand thousand dollars and we're going to send one to India this year. Vanessa, who is co-president of Hawthorne's Interact Club, is happy with their progress. We funded with hot Cheetos, we're selling hot Cheetos and sour butts. At, at school and we made 750 something in profit the first time and this is our second week which is the second semester and we're making over eight hundred dollars. The students find that if they work hard they can help people in need. It takes teamwork because as three heads are better than one so it takes everybody to participate and to just come together and have fun. The weather was perfect for families, students and even pets to join together for a great cause. For HCTV, I'm Lindsay Case. According to www.water.org, women and children around the world walk 200 million hours each day to fetch water that often comes from a polluted source. You can learn how to save not just water, but our entire planet at the annual Hawthorne Community Earth Day Festival. The event offers tips on how to live a green lifestyle by preserving and protecting our natural resources, reducing energy consumption, and recycling household trash. The festival is Saturday, April 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Hawthorne Memorial Park, located at 3901 El Segundo Boulevard. For more information, call Doug Krause at 310-349-2987. Food and refreshments, a kid's craft table, and a Cars of the Future display will also be there. Well, coming up next on City News, one local homeowners association has more than the usual on their homepage. Also, we tell you why college students from Texas recently traveled to Hawthorne. There's more news up ahead. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and drew with all the colors so the crayons could all see. That each of us is special and everyone's unique, but it's when we get together that... The picture is complete! Mama, I played with Natalie today. You did? She is a girl at my school. She has pretty hair and I like her long hair. Mm -hmm. We play together, we talk together, and we were eating outside and um, bugs got on it. Ooh. Nah. Ooh. They're just fly around and get on people's food. Then we killed all the bugs and then it was gone before we knowed it. Where would I go? If the world had no limits, if I could defy all boundaries, if 
I could ride the wind. Where would it take me? If all roads were open to me, where would I go? If I could fly, if I were free, Shaq O'Neal, telling everybody to watch Hawthorne Community Cable TV. I love y'all. Welcome back. Well, a community that's conveniently located near local shops and restaurants is also a convenient click away. The Holly Park Homeowners Association's eye-catching website features a virtual map of the community. Visitors can view various neighborhood streets without ever having to leave their doorstep. Homeowner Association President Jose Gutierrez says he hopes the high-tech option will help promote Holly Park as a great place to live. This is the most effective way to do it. You just sit on your computer, log on, click on a couple of dots on our interactive map, and you're looking at our streets, and you're going, hey, maybe that might be a place I want to move into. To take a look at the website, you can visit www.hollyparkhomes.org. Recently, 100 Texas Tech students decided to forgo a spring break at the beach and instead come here to Hawthorne to rebuild local churches. Lindsay Case reports. Pastor Corey Wanell's Calvary Baptist is one of several area churches being renovated by a college ministry. They were out here last year and uh, they painted the outside of both our buildings here, restuccoed re everything, did a lot of work. These Good Samaritans are from First Baptist Church, based on the Texas Tech campus. We worked on light fixtures and fans yesterday. We reinforced those up in the attic, and today we're working on installing double doors for the sanctuary. This year, they're putting in a new sound booth and fixing up the interior at Calvary Baptist. The students arrive at 7.30 each morning, ready to work. I've learned so much this week, just like how to use different tools like that I've never used before. I didn't know how to use a drill before, so that was really fun. According to Pastor Bruce Venable, these missions are a great way for students to give back to other communities around the country. You know, they like to come and serve and uh, just kind of give their time and their effort to, uh, to folks in other areas, and uh, it's great for them to be able to do that. Many students look forward to the missions. I started as a college student. I came on my first one 13 years ago. I've been coming ever since. These students spent 20 hours in a bus paid their own way out here and plan on having five churches renovated by the end of the week. For HCTV, I'm Lindsay Case. For more information on the First Baptist Ministry at Texas Tech, log on to www.930.org. If you're between the ages of 16 to 21 and are looking for a summer job or even a chance to earn money throughout the whole year, you can check out this upcoming event. More than 50 employers will be at the South Bay Workforce Investment Board's Youth Job Fair. Companies such as FedEx, Home Depot, and Wells Fargo Bank will be there to accept applications. If you're interested, show up dressed for success. The fair is April 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Hawthorne Memorial Center at 3901 West El Segundo Boulevard. For more information, check in with the College and Career Center at your school or call 310-970-7701. Now most of these jobs pay anywhere from eight to $12 an hour. If you're a parent with kids old enough to go to school, the Hawthorne School District may be just the place to send them. Among many other features and programs, Hawthorne schools offer state-of-the-art technology, extended day kindergarten, and a two-way bilingual immersion curriculum.